So let's talk about this here real quick. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, remember the whole purpose of doing three, um, a system of three equations. The main important thing right now is we need to get this down to two equations with two variables. All right. The reason why I want to get this down, Zach, to two equations with two variables is because when I can get it down to two equations and two variables, what process do we have for what process do we have for our solving a system then? Substitution, elimination, graphing, right? There's all those methods that you have. And that's where we're, we're we, I would say, looking at your test results, you guys are pretty good at solving two system, two equations with two variables, right? Yeah. You feel pretty confident with that. So what we need to do is we need to say, can I rewrite this as a system with two variables? OK, Amber, so I need you to be paying attention so you can see that. All right? Now, the first thing is, what is the only up part of information that you guys need to know? Well, right now I have x, y, z. But I do have my other equation just has negative 2z equals negative 6. So can I find the value of z, right? Remember, a solution is finding the values of all the solutions, x, y, and z. So by in this equation, can I find the value of z? Yep. Yeah. So you could say negative 2z equals negative 6. Divide by negative 2. z equals 3, right? Correct? Yes. Now, if I plug in 3 into z for both of those, do I now have to worry about my z variable? Because I know what the value of z is now, right? So let's do that. So let's do 2x plus 3y minus 3 equals negative 2. And then I have x plus 2y plus 3 times 3 equals 9. So do you guys see what I did? I just took in my value of z and I plugged it in for z. Now, do I have two equations with two variables? I do, don't I? All right, so we can now write this as 2x plus 3y. Pardon the interruption. Do you yes. have a zero papasphere? Yes, I do. Would you send her to the front office for dismissal, please? Okay. Wait a minute. Where's your cheese things going to go? Yeah, I mean, I can gladly take those off your hands. Oh, you already had it? Oh, OK. Is there any more extra food? No, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> no, no. OK. Um, no, no, I wasn't asked about those. Those are very good. I was just saying if Coach Uden had more. Oh, I don't know. Like, you have what? Jello things? I might have to take you up on that offer. OK. Well, since I'm taking up a uh, video, I'm just going to go through this. Yes, I'm definitely going to see you in a second. So uh, let's go through these two equations. So then I solve for them. And my 2, what I get is 2, or sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, I can add over here, add 3, right? So my first equation could be 2x plus 3y equals positive 1. Does everybody see what I did? Then I could take my second equation, which would be x plus 2y plus 9 equals 9. Subtract 9, and I get x plus 2y equals 0. Does everybody follow me? What I did. I plugged in. I figured out what z was. I plugged it in, and then I solved for it. And now I get my two equations. Now I have a system of two equations and two variables. So now I can use what? Elimination, substitution, whatever. So what would be the easiest way to do for right here? To plug in, yeah, I could use that way. That way, please. So I could solve this. I could rewrite number 2 as x minus, or I'm sorry, x equals negative 2y. Uh, actually, Dar, could you hold on one second? I have something to give to you. So I could rewrite 2 as x equals negative 2y. Then I could plug that in, so I could do 2 times negative 2y plus 3y equals 1. Negative 4y plus 3y equals 1. That gives me negative y equals 1. y equals negative 1. So now I know what y equals negative 1. I know x. I don't know what x equals yet. But I know z equals 3. So to find the value of x, I could do take one of these equations, which I'll take this one. So I take 2 times x plus 3 times negative 1 minus z, which is 3. 
and that equals negative 2. So therefore, I get 2x minus 3 minus 3 equals negative 2. 2x minus 6 equals negative 2. Add 6. Um, I'm going to get a positive 4. Divide by 2. x equals 2. I just did a lot. I'm going to go ahead and quick off the video. But just to recap real quick, first thing I did was I found the value of z. I plugged the value of z into my two other equations. I simplified it, so I got these two equations. I then did substitution by rewriting the second equation, so it was solve for x. I plugged in the value of x into my first equation, then I solved for y. Once I knew the value of y and I knew the value of z, I plugged them into my second equation and found the value of x. Now, do I have three equations and three variables? Did I just find the value of all three variables? And I just solved the equation, right? That's how you solve the system.